What's up guys, On Maths here, and we're ready to get through some basic geometry from our summer school series. So, first question is provided by OCR, and it says, what's the name of this shape? So, you might be tempted to say it's a quadrilateral, which it is, but I think that this question probably wants us to be a little bit more specific. So, there is a rule that says any quadrilateral that has one pair of parallel sides is called a trapezium. And because this shape has one pair of parallel sides, it has to be a trapezium. If it had two pairs of parallel sides, it could be a whole range of shapes, like parallelogram, rhombus, square, rectangle, huge range of shapes. But if it has one pair of parallel sides, definitely a trapezium. Right, next question says, how many faces does a cube have? So a face is like uh, a part of the shape you can just put your hand on. Uh, so it's the flat part of the shape. The corners are the vert vertices. And the uh, bit you can run your finger along is called the edge. So if you think about a dice or a die, if there's one of it, how many sides does a die have? When you're playing Monopoly and you roll a dice, how many sides has it got? Definitely six. And we call them faces. So how many faces does it have? Six. Moving next on to Edexcel's offering for this topic. And we've got a nice looking shape there. And it says, what is the name of this 3D shape? Now, I'd be tempted to say cube if the sides look the same length. But this, this looks longer. So I'm not going to risk saying it's a cube. I'm going to say it's a cuboid which is like a three-dimensional rectangle. A cube is a three-dimensional square. Now, the next one says, write down the number of edges of this 3D shape. Now, like I said in the last question, an edge is kind of the, the bit you can run your finger along. Now, I've already drawn two edges there. So we've got a third one here and a fourth one here. So there's four on the front. Then we've got one, two, three, Four on the back there, and we've got one, two, three, four that are kind of the 3D ones. So there's four at the front, four at the back, and then kind of four in the middle there. So in total, that will make 12. So there's 12 edges on the 3D shape. Just out of interest, uh, we've already said there's six faces, but the vertices, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight vertices. The question doesn't ask you for that, but that's a bit of bonus content there. Now to finish off this uh, video today, we're gonna pass over to the AQA's offering, which is actually quite a difficult question. It looks really simple, but you've really got to think about it. So it basically says, how many lines of symmetry in triangle can you not have? Well, let's go through it. There's some easy ones we can definitely prove that we do have. So if I draw just any old crazy triangle over here, I think we can all agree that that has zero lines of symmetry. So we can tick that off and say, right, well, it's, it's not that one. So let's just kind of put a cross there. Whoops. Let's put a cross next to that one. Let's make it red. So that one's not the right answer because we've just drawn one. Okay, next one, Ooh, let's have a think. One line of symmetry. Well, one line of symmetry will be an isosceles like that. And so we've definitely got one line of symmetry on there. So we can cross that off. Now, I've got to think about the next one, three lines of symmetry. Uh, if I draw an equilateral triangle, then uh, let's try and draw on the line of symmetry. So we've got one there. We've got one there, and we've got one down the middle there. So that is going to be three lines of symmetry there. So we've got zero line of symmetry, one line of symmetry, and we've drawn three lines of symmetry. And let's draw on the line of symmetry so that we we have a complete answer. So we've got one line of symmetry there. Let's just add the one there. Um, I can't think of any triangle that has two lines of symmetry. And that the reason for that is there isn't any. 
uh, with an equilateral triangle, you can't really get rid of one of those lines of symmetry without getting rid of the other one. So you only have triangles with zero, one, or three lines of symmetry. So our actual answer is going to be two. You can't have a triangle with two lines of symmetry. Really, really good question, that, and one that took me off guard when I found it. I was like, oh, wow, that's, that's interesting. I didn't really think about that. Um, but always try and answer questions like this by figuring out which um, which of the options can you eliminate and you're always left with one and, and maybe you're left with two and you have to take a guess but you know most of the time you're left with one all right that's going to do it for today's video so i hope you've been enjoying our summer school offerings so far we've got a brand new topic every single weekday monday to friday weekend is uh, for partying alone in our houses and uh, please visit onmass.com for more free stuff from us. We've got loads and loads of practice on there to keep you uh, up to speed with your maths. So uh, if you've liked this video, click like. If you uh, want to see more from us, click subscribe. Thank you very much.